Here are the tests on my 1984 Elger emblem. The flapper does leak in this scene a little bit because it has a faulty flush valve, but I will re be replacing that when I restore this thing. So let's just give it a flush. Very nice flush. Let's see how it performs. First off, we're going to do a washcloth. Pretty sure any toilet can take this. The washcloths I have are kind of big, so I, it's hard to find small ones, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, this is the smallest washcloth I can find. I'm pretty sure it will take this because these toilets are actually not that bad of performers. I mean, honestly, these things are probably going to perform like Murray Savoy's, but I'm basically... 100% confident that this thing is going to be better than a Murray Savoy. So, yeah, Murray Savoy's have more restricted trapways than these. Not the best toilet out there, but it's definitely an interesting toilet. Wait till the tank fills. Let's give it a flush. Just as expected, it went down. Next up, let's try grocery bag. Gonna kind of water it up so it doesn't get ball, so it doesn't air up in the toilet because that's literally what mostly happens with that happens. So these toilets are actually not that bad as I thought. I mean, I know a lot of people in the community actually kind of think these are terrible performers, just like Murray Savoy's, which were made by Elger too. But honestly, I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite toilets right now in my collection because just the color of it is just pure 80s glory. I just got to say that right now. This thing is beautiful. So yeah, performs pretty well as well. So yeah, let's give it another go. Didn't even try. I wonder why. It's probably because this grocery bag, let me try to kind of ball it up a little bit and see if it takes it like this. In the state of California, especially over here, a lot of grocery stores have these stupid big plastic bags that they have, not regular ones. So that's why I can't really use regular grocery bags and I don't really have access to some of them like a lot of you guys see in like BTR Plumbing's videos and uh, you know, OCC Plumbing's videos. So it kind of sucks, but that's all I have access to. So I have to use what I have. Wait till the tanks fills. And yes, it is filling up a little past the, on the rust line. So give it accurate tests. Try it again. And it got stuck. Not even gonna bother flushing that again because it's literally just gonna clog. It's a waste of my time. All right, anyways, now we're gonna be doing the dirt test. As you can see, get that dirt in there. So yeah, um, I have it all around the rim, as you can see. We're gonna see if this thing does well with the dirt test. I'm not gonna do a washcloth and grocery bag combined because that's obviously gonna clog it and it's just a waste of, it's not worth my time. So yeah, let's wait till the tank fills up. Have the hose right here because you know, kind of takes a little while for the tank to fill up and the bowl refills itself most of the time. So it's really not exactly, you know, pleasant like that. All right, let's see what it does with dirt. And 
that's just stuff on the bowl that I that the cup did, but it left a few of it behind. So very close. So overall, I would give this toilet at least a seven out of ten for performance. Um, it's not the best toilet out there, but it's definitely up there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. See you all in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.